Today we're going to tackle convergence on a Sony PVM1344Q, but this would apply to pretty much any CRT. And we're going to cover the most vital step of them all. So if you're anything like me, you might have been putting this off for years and intimidated by the process and fear actually making convergence worse and screwing things up. And it's really not that big of a deal as long as you follow the most vital step that I'm going to tell you about. But first thing we need to do is get a convergence pattern loaded in 240p test suite and also set your picture and brightness to about halfway. I will be using just an everyday jeweler's loop. You can pick one of these up for like five bucks on Amazon. It's not a Klein tool. I don't have a Klein tool, so I don't know how those compare, but this at least lets you zoom in and, and be able to, you know, see if those colors are separated. Now, the first step is you want to go on the neck board and set your H stat, your horizontal static convergence, and that will adjust things horizontally. And you want to try to bring those red, blue and green beams into alignment or into convergence first. And this might be all you need to solve your convergence problems. Now, it's when you have a vertical separation like this that you cannot fix it with the H stat. And you'll have to adjust your rings. Now, what's the most important step before we go to the rings? Mark your rings. This is the most important step. And as long as you mark your rings first, you can always revert back to stock and keep your ass out of trouble. You just want to mark a perpendicular line down all three pairs of rings and even get a little bit of marker on that uh, plastic uh, assembly there. That way you have a index mark and you can get everything back to stock if needed. There'll probably be a time or two while you're adjusting these that you wish you could just revert back to stock. So make sure you mark them convergence rings. If you have any epoxy or silicone on a consumer tube, you'll have to separate it with a razor like this. But on these PVMs, they're free as a bird. Now that that step's been pounded in your head, we can move on and talk about these rings. The first pair closest to the tube is your purity rings and those were set by the factory do not adjust those the outer pair closest to the neck board is your v stat and that's the ones we will adjust first according to the service manual if we cannot get the adjustments necessary we can move to the middle pair or the misconvergence set of rings and and those will be used if we still have a misconvergence after adjusting the v stat in combination with the h stat on the neck board so now with those convergence rings marked, we have no fear of screwing things up because we can always go back to where we started and we can play with these as long as we want. Try to learn how they work. And here's just a small example I'm going to show by moving those outer set of rings, the V stat rings. You can see the green beam will stay static while the blue and red have their own orbits that meet up somewhere in the center. And by spreading those rings apart, you can make those orbits larger or smaller. There is a very in-depth explanation of what these rings do, what moving them away from each other does, what moving them closer to each other does, rotating them as a pair, what that does, and it's hard enough to wrap your head around it reading it from the service manual that I'm not even gonna try to attempt to explain it here my best suggestion is to just get in there and play around with the rings try to get a feel for what they do um, you can get greedy you can get damn near perfect but you're thinking oh I can get a little bit better and then end up completely screwed and you might have to reset to those lines you made when uh, we initially started that you marked on the rings. There was several times I had to revert back to that. So the best thing I can suggest is just get in there, play around, try to figure it out. It's very time consuming, but there's nothing to worry about. As long as you got those rings marked, you're fine. Don't touch the anode cap. Don't touch the anode wires. Um, I suggest wearing a mechanics glove like this. I have been zapped by the yoke before. It's not horrible, but it, it'll let you know about yourself. 
you just take your time with this and feel safe knowing that you mark those rings and that you can't really screw nothing up because you can always go back to where you started. Now, once you are happy with your convergence, you want to lock those rings down because on these PVMs, I mean, you could look at them wrong and they could move. They're, they're so loose. Now, I would suggest a high temp rated silicone sealant and just run a bead across all six of them and get some also on that plastic assembly. But in this instance, I used aluminum tape. If you've ever worked with it before, you know that crap sticks to anything and holds a death grip on it. It's non-magnetic, but you do not want it falling down on your chassis board and causing a short. So make sure you clean those rings first if you're going to use this, but I would suggest the silicone. Now here is some before and after shots. You can see before the red was down below the green a little bit and the blue was misconverged by quite a bit. And here we have our after shot and it's it's not perfect now, but it's a lot better than what it was. That green beam seems a little more spread out and oblong than the other ones, but I mean, it's it's a lot sharper in games. It's not as muddy looking. I'm happy with it for now. So I'm going to leave you with footage of the Ikigami on the bottom and the, this Sony PVM on top after I set the convergence. I'm done messing with this 1344Q for now. I have a PVM 1341 I'm recapping at the moment. And when I'm done, I'm going to take this 1344Q and recap the whole deflection side of the chassis board and the the power circuit board and then I'm gonna have to come back and reset the geometry and probably mess with this convergence again and then I'm done I'll be happy with it that's gonna wrap this one up as always don't forget to like and subscribe